Hey everyone, this is the Kevin from Star Trek Ship Posting. Uh, again, going over my new video today about again my favorite captain, Captain Jean Luc Picard, the most um, English Frenchman uh, you'll ever meet, and uh, I think he's great for numerous reasons. One of them is that I think he gives the best speeches, uh, especially in Measure of Man. You know, again, Data's on trial, and you know what does he say in his you know Data's defense? Starfleet was founded to seek out new life. Well, there it sits. Yeah, I just love that. It's it's fantastic. It's just a great. Ooh, it gives you chills. Like ooh, like oh, so good, so so good. And of course, I think the other one that comes to mind also is uh, the first duty, where of course Wesley is trying to lie uh, to help out uh, Nick Lacarno, aka a very young Tom Paris, <laughs> or they're the same person in some conspiracy circles. Um, but anyway. You know, again, gives a speech to Wesley, you know, The first duty of every Starfleet officer is the truth, whether it's historical truth, scientific truth, or personal truth. And again, this is like, ooh, wow. Like, this is like, this is really, ah, again, hits me just like, you know, it's like I'm watching it and like I'm feeling guilty and I didn't do anything. Like, that's, that's how powerful it is. And even though Picard, you know, he solves his problem with diplomacy and talking, which I like too, he can, you know, be good in a fight, I think, sometimes, in some instances. Um, especially in Starship Mine, which is basically, a, aka, you know, die hard in space. But it, again, sort of shows that Picard is kind of a badass where he needs to be. He even takes out uh, Tuvok, you know, Tim, uh, Tim Russ in that episode. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, he always sort of, he, I like, again, like, again, his diplomacy, I like the fact that he has meetings with the crew. And I feel like, and he has meetings with the crew. He listens to what he ha what they have to say and goes over it. And even in general, he just he listens even regardless what universe he's in sometimes. Because again, yesterday's Enterprise, he listens to Guinan. He listens to Guinan even in that universe. He still hears her out and gives her a chance and, you know, really takes, you know, takes it into consideration. I think that's a great thing to have in a captain. Um, Picard also is very convincing. Extremely convincing as well. We see this in The Wounded, um, particularly with Miles O'Brien, he's very uh, concerned about his former <clears throat> former captain, uh, Commander uh, Com Captain Maxwell, Captain Maxwell, aka uh, you know from Shawshank Redemption, the warden from Shawshank Redemption, and <clears throat> he's basically you know again he gives a great Picard inspirational speech, and because he tells him you know when one is ag when one has been angry for so long, it starts to feel comfortable, you know like an old leather, that's about all they know. Something like that. Something, yeah, paraphrasing, but something in that regard. And then because, again, he gives him, you know, O'Brien hears that speech. He's convinced. And he's like, okay. And again, he sits down and has that conversation with the Cardassian, you know, and really is, like, able to come to terms with how he's feeling. Um, also, I feel like he can be very, you know, he's he can be very, like, no-nonsense guy. Uh, you know, especially with, uh, was it, Aunt, her name was Andra? A Andra? Uh, she was pretending to be the devil and stuff, and she was, like, kind of admitted that this is all a game and everything. He's basically like, nope, not gonna have it. Like, not taking this crap. I'm not gonna play your games, you know? Like, can't do that. And another instance that because why Picard is a great captain is that he stands up for his crew. We see him standing up for Riker when Riker's on trial, and, you know, obviously Data, Measure of a Man. But even if they're not a main part of his crew, he still does. Um, we see this in, uh, with basically, he stands up for an ensign in the drumhead. And, you know, he defends him, and, you know, so his career won't be ruined, but he risks, but again, it's a personal risk to himself, because if Picard does this, he could be risking, again, his own career is at stake. So again, I think that takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage to do something like that. Um, even also, we'll push off the you know, officers out, of, out in their comforts, out of their comfort zones, you know what they normally would do. Especially with Worf, when Kalar kind of comes back in the reunion, he really is not comfortable being around her. He doesn't really want to, you know, seem to do his job. And basically he's like, well, you know, Mr. Worf, you know, you can't seem to hide with a Klingon ship on cloaks. So again, showing that you still have to do your job, regardless, like, it's being awkward, but you're a Starfleet officer and that's what you have to do. Um, he also, another reason I like Picard too, is that he definitely seems to embrace, he really embraces other cultures, it seems like. We see this a lot with, you know, Darmok, you know, Darmok, Darmok where he's learning about these cultures, he's trying to understand them, he's trying to talk to them. You know, Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra, you know, and he's very fascinated 
by cultures. Um, what I like is that he does not condemn them. He does not condemn them. He is very fascinated by them. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it about, about that, <clears throat> about him. Um, he essentially, he respects, and one thing I like too is he respects the Prime Directive and Federation ideals. And again, always has a very strong moral center, you know, re regardless if it's convenient or not. That's the thing about having a strong moral center. It's not always convenient for you, but it's just always the right thing to do. In Star Trek Insurrection with the, I believe, corrupt admiral, he's basically like, yeah, like, I will absolutely, you know, if I will have a court martial, is what it takes for Starfleet to do it, then by all means, essentially, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but essentially that's what he's going over. Like, wow, that's, you know, takes, takes guts, takes a lot of guts. Um, I will say this, generally doesn't lose his cool, and I say generally because, of course, you know, you're all going to comment on the scene in First Contact where he smashes the glass ships and goes, no! Like, I know you're going to mention that, oh, really, he doesn't, you know, is that losing his cool, Kevin? You know, come on. But generally, but that's, you know, that's right, that's movie Picard, right? I'm saying within the show, I would say he doesn't. And, you know, in the episode, what was it, um, so where Silence has Lease, um, and there's sort of, again, the godlike being... And he realizes that he might have to self-destruct the ship. He's very, again, calm about the, really the whole thing. He's very calm about it. He isn't worried. He's not really panicking. He keeps the situation very under control. So again, that's kind of why I like him. Generally doesn't lose his cool. Again, those are kind of in the movies or something. Then, okay, we see a little more emotion and, you know, from him then. But even then, it's like, well, it's the Borg. So, like, I, you know, I, I, I get it. You know. Um, the other thing that I like is that he's not, you know, he's not too stubborn in the sense of like he's not afraid to ask for help and you'll see this in the episode uh q who of course with the borg for the first time he's he is frightened he is he's is scared but he's not stubborn and prideful he knows that he has to ask q for help to get out of the situation but he's never dealt this before so he's like okay like you know um he wouldn't because he, he has to finally admit to q he goes i need you you know and just like it's a big you know humbling kind of moment where he's like, no, I have to, I have to do this for my crew and to save everybody. Like, I have to ask him for help, even though, you know, he and Q don't always get along. Um, another great cool thing about Picard, of course, there is the Picard maneuver. Now, again, obviously there's the whole Picard maneuver joke where he's tucking in a shirt kind of like this, but also, too, it's a battle maneuver in his days in the U.S. as Stargazer, where, of course, he comes in, you know, <clears throat> I did really good helmsman or do I? Came into high war with enemy ship and fired everything I had. You know, <clears throat> basically kind of like that a little bit. So like that's really kind of cool that he has a whole you know maneuver after the Starfleet. I think that's really neat. And again, another very cool quality is that sometimes he pretends he you know even though he doesn't know what's going on, he pretends that he does. Um, especially when Beverly and McCard are on the planet and they're telepathically linked and they're trying to find the hill, and Beverly's like. You don't know where you're going, you know, do you? And Picard's like, well, sometimes a captain doesn't give off the appearance of confidence, you know, and I guess that's true. Like, you do have to do that sometimes. And my last point that I'll make is the, real, the big reason why I love Jean Luc Picard is that he cannot be broken. And he goes through a lot. He goes through, of course, the inner light experience of living on that whole, living that whole life. And even with the chain of command, or he's with Gold Madrid. And he's being, you know, tortured and everything and seeing, you know, with the, the lights, you know. Uh, you know, he, there are, you know, there are four lights! It's fantastic. It's, it's wonderful. And especially again with the Borg, too. He's taken and with the Borg. And again, like, he, he goes through so much, but he isn't broken. And, you know, again, it's a really admirable quality that he goes through all of that. And yet he's still able to be the strong, moral, inspirational, smart diplomatic captain that we all know him to be so yeah that's just my brief little video on why i love jean-luc picard and why i can't wait for patrick stewart's return in the new captain picard show i can't wait i am just super excited because again picard means the world to me and again, i think by far he is my favorite captain for sure so again if you like this little video that i did uh please uh, hit that like and subscribe button and again i will see you all next time everybody. All right. Well, again, have a great day.